Hi, I'm Travis Moy, owner of the boarding school here in Orlando, Florida. I've been coaching water skiing, wakeboarding, wake surfing for most of my life. And in that time, I've learned a lot of tips and tricks to help people get out on the water a little easier. Just in case I forget a few things, I've got my good friend and professional water skier, Freddie Winter here with me. Today, we've got Katie with us. She works here at the boarding school, is a pretty phenomenal wakeboarder, but today we're gonna teach her how to get up on a pair of water skis. If you've never really spent any time on the water, I highly recommend going with a pair of skis. There's just more surface area for you. Uh, you're gonna have more balance once you're up. It's just gonna be a little easier overall. So before we ever get out on the water, we like to do a few things you know, on dry land here on the dock or even just sitting in the back of the boat. We're gonna have our skier start sitting on the ground, feet flat on the ground, about shoulder width apart. The two most important things are keeping our arms nice and relaxed and our knees nice and bent. Okay, you can stay there for as long as you like. After whatever amount of time it takes for you to feel balanced, you're gonna slowly stand up. You're gonna push straight down, okay? So you're gonna go up, okay? You're not pushing the skis down in front. That's perfect, that's perfect. Bring those shoulder blades together, shoulders back, knees forward, hips over your feet. Your position, just in terms of getting your most efficient situation, it's knees over toes, hips over feet, shoulder blades back, arms nice and straight. That's perfect, okay? You wanna have a nice straight line between your kneecaps and your armpits with your hips in line. Okay, that's great. So after we practice this a few times on land, we're gonna take it out on the water. So we never really wanna fight the pull of the boat. We're gonna allow the boat to rock us up. The way I like to think about it is if you were falling on the ground on the gym floor and your buddy was gonna reach out and grab you, you wouldn't try to resist him. You're just gonna leave everything relaxed and you're just gonna allow yourself to get pulled forward. It's the same thing over a pair or single ski. So the three most important things to think about are keeping our ski tips above the water. We wanna keep our knees nice and bent, staying in a tight little ball, and keeping our arms straight and relaxed. So one huge key is just being patient and not trying to stand up too soon. You wanna let the boat fully pull you up on the water in your ball, then we're gonna slowly rise into our stand position. You can take as long as you like to do this, there's no rush to do it. So another huge factor in this is the driver. The driver, we wanna make sure that we are kind of tapping the boat in and out of gear to get the rope tight for the skier uh, so they can feel what the boat's gonna do with them. I even like to just drag them just for a second or two so they can feel the resistance of the skis in the water and they can feel how to stay in that little ball. Once they look comfortable, we're just gonna do a slow, smooth, kind of linear push through the throttle to get them up on top of the water smoothly instead of a short, fast little burst. So a good starting point uh, for speed for an adult would be about 18 miles an hour. Uh, the speed's gonna vary a little bit depending on the size of your skier. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit us up on any of the Mastercraft social channels, or if you wanna take it to the next level, come visit us here at the boarding school. Thanks for joining us today, and thanks for being part of the Mastercraft family.